Welcome back to another episode of The Farming Chefs. Today we'll be making Portuguese bifana, which is the fast food national, one of the national fast foods of Portugal. So think, you know, midnight dancing out at four o'clock in the street. What are you gonna eat? A bifana. And I'm gonna show you how we make it at home and how my Portuguese hubby taught me. So for all you Portuguese people out there that are doing it differently, I apologize in advance. This is the way that we do it. I hope you guys enjoy. Step number one is to prepare your pork loin. And this is done by just cutting away anything that isn't edible. So any kind of bones. We'll throw this away. We are going to use these bits in a minute. I'm going to show you how to make some more flavor out of them. I'm going to put those back here. You see here's another little piece. I'm going to be quite rude with this because I'm going to actually use this. as a flavor making piece in my sauce. What I'm doing now is I'm going to, on this heat, brown off my little cuttings in order to give the sauce I'm about to make a lot of flavor. So I'm gonna kick that off by just adding a tiny bit of olive oil, or banya in this case if I had it into the pan and then I'm going to introduce these little bits and box. That's looking great, give it a good amount of color and I'm just going to take two or three clean garlic cloves, give them a good crunch and I'm going to add them in there. Another thing I'm going to add is a little bit of bay leaf. I'm going to add two leaves. And I'm just gonna let that brown for a bit. In the meantime, while that's browning, make sure you don't burn it. I'm going to now start slicing the bifana. Try to go for as thin as you can here. Once your meat is nice and brown, give your slicing a bit of a pause and move on to adding some butter and then deglazing your pan with white wine. Deglazed on a high fire, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt for flavor. And I'm going to add a tiny bit of smoked paprika. Not all Portuguese will agree with me on this. And then I'm going to continue slicing. There are a lot of people who also use other cuts of pork for this. The loin only needs to cook for a very short time, that's why I personally prefer using it. Starting to smell absolutely delicious. It's got a nice color on it as well. I'm now going to add a little bit of water. Let's chop up the rest of the garlic. Now, the more time you would have to do this in advance, the better. These are left to marinate. I'm giving it a very short marinade right now, but you could make this day in advance even and just keep this in the fridge. Make sure to take it out of the fridge, so about half an hour before you start. Otherwise, you're working with a very cold temperature. I'm gonna put this besides our little sauce, which is still cooking away down there. And then I'm gonna do something extremely unconventional because this is not how the Portuguese do it, but I really love myself a salad with each meal. So I'm gonna quickly chop up some greens well, I'm gonna not chop up the greens. I'm gonna chop up some carrot and some onion and some apple and I'm gonna make a little bit of a salad to go on the side and then I'm gonna show you guys how to assemble this fast food delight. Sprinkle on top, a bit of onion and last but not least, some apple. Just gonna drizzle it with a bit of apple vinegar Apple vinegar, some olive oil, liquid gold, liquid gold, and a sprinkling of salt. Very nice. Very hot. Plating time. 
You get yourself a few of these little slivers and you just lay them in your sauce. Give them like, I wanna say 30 seconds to a minute each, not even. Just until they're cooked through. I'm putting enough in here now for the first two sandwiches. I would advise putting this in as you serve. Otherwise it might get a bit tough. Boom, shakalaka. I'm gonna leave that to simmer for a second and then we're getting our buns ready. Check out my buns. <laughs> I've got somebody staring at me that regularly checks out my buns. <laughs> All right. Just open this one up. And this is where an element comes into play that I'm personally not a big fan of, but this is the local mustard. Mustard is on, optional. You don't have to put it on there if you don't like it. I definitely love it. And here we have our little bifanas. All right, so you take out your thin slivers, leave those bigger chunks in there. They're only there for flavor and they're gonna to be tough since it's the sinew. You layer this on beautifully. Oh, looks delicious. Yeah. And then I'm gonna give you a little Portuguese trick. Take about a spoonful of sauce on the bread. Oh yeah, looking good, looking good. Sorry, I'm way too excited about this. <laughs> My mouth is watering and there we have it. That's one done. Let's cut it in half. Voila. That's looking good. Now one could, of course, just for gourmet value, now add a bit of this salad, just lick it a little bit. Oop. Bit of crunch, bit of green. You know, just fast food, but then healthy. Oh, apple. Oop. Forget about it. Portuguese, bifana. Enjoy. Okay, take it. Just, let's yeah. go. Yeah. Can I have a bite? You can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could pay for this. And that was it for another episode. It's some fast food Portuguese style. We hope you enjoyed this episode. You can find a full recipe on our website. Leave a link. I'll leave a link in the description box below. And if you like our content, please supporting us is very easily done by just hitting that subscribe button and giving us a thumbs up, sharing our content and all that jazz. See you on the next one, The Farming Chefs. Peace out. Peace out.